presentation of the Horseman Wrestling Association. It is copyrighted for the private use of our audience. Any other use of this telecast or any pictures, descriptions, or accounts of the show without the HWA's consent is prohibited. Welcome, ladies and gentlemen, to HWA right in the teeth. Tonight, we'll have two more hellabaloo lock-ins as Katie Bang tries to reclaim the women's world title from BT Goth, and Sabu tries to keep the television title streak alive against Gluteus Maximus. You'll also see first round three strikes action with Crow battling Mr. Q, Nico takes on the Goldfather, and much more. It's gonna feel like getting a root canal with an ice fishing auger. Don't go anywhere. Welcome, ladies and gentlemen, to the Lindane Center here in Baltimore, Maryland. And uh, we're returning here. A great, a great city, a great town for us to entertain in. Even though I saw no seats in the back. Here we go. <laughs> Find the curtain. Uh, and anyway, don't look there. Uh, coming down right now, though, is Crow Magnon. And uh, he saw, well, let's, uh, let's, let's describe this for a second here. Uh, this is the Losers Tourney. Some, some are calling it. Some are calling it the Three Strikes Tournament. It's basically uh, set up by, uh, by uh, what's his name? Uh, Pedro X. And, uh, oh, we'll do the clip. Okay. Uh, in uh, the show 43, an exhibition match. Uh, this was this was a ripoff. Cro Magnum performs a roll-up pin on Nigel Zark, but it was cheated out of it by a pin by Jimmy Fong, just sort of hanging there. Let's have a look at it. You're never going to win a match if you do. Oh, and a roll-up. There's a pin. There's one. There's two. Oh, he was coming down. What the fuck was that? Oh no, roll over. There's one. And now he's only going to get one. What kind of count was that? Jimmy just, uh, after two, his arm froze in space. That's him, ladies and gentlemen. That is Crow Magnet. Okay, getting back to what I was talking about here. This is a, a tournament. It starts out with eight, eight people. Uh, the, the four losers go on. Uh, after the after their first loss to uh, to a two on two or uh, sorry a uh, one on one one on one as they say uh, for those four player for four wrestlers and uh, the, the loser of that goes on to the final which is taking place at uh, Hell Halloween Hell Blue none other than and the loser of that match has to well he doesn't have to retire he gets fired all right Pedro. I got nothing but love for you, buddy. But come on, man, that's that's awful heavy-handed. Uh, I just just think about it. Think again. We got we have time to think about that. So uh, before we get into that, let's go ahead and uh, well, we've already gotten into it. <laughs> Sorry. Uh, let's talk about the first first blood match here. Mr. Q performing the F5 ringer on Sabu, the big Sabu. Yes, he draws blood for the win. Let's have a look at it. Thank you. Q and Q getting ready to stance here. If he goes for another F5 ringer, that might just do it. It takes him over. It will be. He's got him up and down. He goes and we saw it. We saw the blood. There he is, Mr. Q. That's one against all odds here against Sabu. That's him, ladies and gentlemen. That is Mr. Q, a world wrestling, uh, actually just a wrestling world-class wrestler there uh, going, to get, going against the uh, the furry fire plug, as they call him, that whole Crow magnet So one of these two uh, with a win here, they are protected. So let's go ahead and see who end, ends up winning here. Right now they lock up. And, oh, Crow giving, Crow giving Q a, a taste of his own medicine. Some, some good old-fashioned grappling. And Fong, who we're still trying to get fired, by the way. We're working on that. Oh, shoves, uh, shoves him away and a clean break. No, oh, that wasn't too clean. They're just coming in with a, a sucker charge, a clothesline there by Crow. And now stopping away, now picking, picking Q up, and Q shoves him away. Now looking up. Oh, God, a big hammer from the halfway up the ceiling coming down on Crow's little head. And now a kick to the back. Crow's little head. Little head, big forehead. Kind of a five or six head, anyway. Right, coming down with a chop there for Mr. Q. And now oh, <laughs> missing a stomp there, missing the foot. And now picked up and slammed down by Mr. Q is Crow. Crow now getting stomped on by Mr. Q. And sets up for the, uh, oh, got the wrist breaker. And goes to stomp, but the Q, or uh, sorry, Crow moves out of the way. Now, oh, he's so, a so rolling, 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 and not trying to get uh, trying to get a loop move on him and just kind of shoving him around here. Crow, Crow not having a, a good time. Key steps in here and tries to strike up a conversation with Mr. Q and coming in from the side, kind of kicks him in the halfway side of the crotch, a okay, side crotch shot, and after that, a uh, buster, a brain buster on the shoulder. Now Q, trying to come back. Now just Q, slamming that head some more. Trying to try for a knockout here. You can, you can win by knockout. There's a pin. There's one. And no, it's going to get kicked out. 
Like, like I said, you can you can win by a knockout uh, or a, a pin or disqualification. There's a variety of ways to lose. Uh, but uh, some some forget that the knockout is a possibility. So going after that head is a good idea. But right now he's working on the arm, trying to pull it out of position. And uh, the Mr. Q rolls around in, in uh, good old-fashioned wrestling style and pops him away in the head, but his arm's hurting from it. And now, go, oh, another pig's the flying hammer. That's what I call it, the flying hammer coming down. And now... Pfft, Takes a squat <laughs> while waiting for him. I didn't use the fart. Can we use the fart button? Thank you. And now, Dragon Kid, Dragon Crow out. And he's going to get him. Oh, he's going to stomp coming. He's going to stomp. Oh, right to the midsection. Not <laughs> Good thing it's not lower for Crow. <laughs> Crow needs that to try to repopulate the earth. At least he thinks so. <laughs> there was like 16 of them on the earth whenever he got frozen. And now, what's this going to be? Oh, they got him up. Oh, it's the bald eagle backbreaker. Oh, and he's flailing around. He's got to be hurting after that and puts him down. There's one. There's two. Oh, and kicks out. Kick out by Crow. Crow, Crow yeah, he likes it here in the HWA. He likes all the modern conveniences. He wants to stay here. So he's, he's very uh, very entranced and getting it in with keys with another distraction. Oh, getting picked up on the shoulders by Crow. Oh, what's this going to be? And now, oh, comes down on a pancake and catches his arm on the rope as well. And flipped over. Going to grab. Oh, what's it going for? Oh, going to give him a leg DDT. Oh, wow. So that's just a shock. Here comes a chair. Keys. <laughs> well, he knows He knows primitive tools and stuff like that. You can give Crow a break. He knows He knows what's going on. Oh, there's, a, there's a, uh, the F5 ringer. And Keys now coming up with good timing once again. Working on that, that uh, post pad, the turnbuckle pad. And now it's a, it's a, pad, it's a cushion. It, it make it sound better. And now going up way high. Whoa! Big elbow drop on Crow. And Fung finally fixes the pad. Uh, the, uh, cushion, uh, whatever they call that. The uh, what, what's, what do they call it officially? It's a pad. Okay, well, thank you for that. <laughs> Great. <laughs> we got enough pads going on in here. <laughs> One by the name of Max E. And now what is this? Oh, picked up again. Oh, a big pickup sidewalk slammer, you might call that. But uh, now, look down. Not going, for, not quite going for a pin here. He wants, he wants to make sure Crow's good and ready for to get uh, taken out. But now dragging. Where's he dragging him? Dragging him nowhere. And now goes for a pin. Oh, he's using the ropes here. There's one. There's two. Oh, and Crow flipping them off. So you ain't gonna cheat. Put that cheating shit on me, uh, a Q. And now with a oh, double, double brain buster there. One on the knee, one on the uh, thing. <laughs> and now Key's going up again. Key's not distracting the referee. Key's got to watch it. He might get thrown out here. He's been awful vocal up on that on that apron. And Crow just taking his time, not not wanting to do anything, wanting to get uh, Q in position for this. What's this gonna be? Oh, here it comes. It's the oh, it's the oh, Christ, I forgot it's the uh, uh, now he's going for the dino the dino drop. The dino drop might be next. What the hell was the other move? Oh god. And now kicking. And yes, it's gonna be the dino drop. Yes. And go oh, god, uh, right after the Stone Ager. That was the name of the move. The Stone Ager and the Dino Drop and double double. Here it comes. There's one. There's two. Oh god, he gets the shoulder up. Oh, I thought that was uh, that was it for Q for sure. But no, he's going back. I guess it. Now saying, hey, look at me. Crow, not too smart. Come on, you got to learn, buddy. And he's still showing up. But Mr. Q's wobbly. He's too wobbly to even do anything. And here comes a clothesline. And another clothesline by Crow. Now off the ropes. Oh, big double leg, uh, leg clotheslines on, on Q. And now Q getting picked up. Q definitely wobbly. He's not looking good here. Right now, it comes again. Oh, it's going to be another Stone Ager. I got it. <laughs> oh, God, Christ almighty. Almost put his head into his rib cage. And now, there's another pin. The attempt. There's one. There's two. Oh, God, I kicked that again. These two men fighting hard. Fighting for... Well, they are liber literally fighting for their lives, at least their professional lives here in the HWA. But now, in a stance again. Crow looking. What's he got for him? What's it going to be this time? And it's going to be another dino drop. If he gets it, it's all over for him, maybe. Oh, God, right there. There's the lung busters right there. And goes down for a quick pin. And there it is. There's one. This might be it. There's two. There's three. Crow Magnon protected for the duration of the tournament. And Mr. Q is, has to move on to the next one and try to fight some more uh, for the for the next one-on-one, -on -one, which will be next week, by the way. And a drop, as you see right over there, that, that uh, bald, bald eagle backbreaker. That bog eagle. <laughs> ball gag? What? Oh, that was the one, two, and yeah, you kicked up. <laughs> and then this, which was, oh, him dragging him around for a half hour. Oh, I saw, I remember this. Yeah, he was, he was trying to cheat. He tried to pull that move so many others have been successful with, but he wasn't so much on himself. Right there, you see Jimmy. Jimmy can't see shit right there. One, two, but Crow. Crow just throwing him off with powerhouse throw. And then this, hey, a body, uh, what, what is it called again? A stone ager. And then the dino dropped the follow. And I think that was pretty much it, folks. Go for the pin here. Did they show the pin? I don't know. They usually show the wrong, the wrong pin. There's one. 
There's two. And yes, he got the shoulder up, but no, that's all they're going to show. Now they're going to show one more stone ager. Boom. And of course, will they show the, the final move and the pin? No, they're going to show a pin and a kick out again. Good Lord, this is long. Long replays, guys. There's one, there's two. And of course, kicked out. But it was, of course, Jesus Christ, he just went through somebody's head. <laughs> was that Keyes' head? I think it went through his back, I think. And now, yes, Crow, Crow excited. He says, I'm staying here in the HWA, baby. I'm going to be here for, uh, is it going to be in uh, the Halloween Hello Blue? I, th I think he might have a match. I'm not sure. But uh, we'll be recapping that later. But right now, this is the Anal Network reminding you to always wear a condom and come back for more HWA action. Welcome back, ladies and gentlemen, to the Lindane Center here in Baltimore, Maryland, home of the, the crabs. <laughs> yes, lots of crabs that we had here. Horseshoe crabs, crabs in your hair, crotch crabs, whatever you like. <laughs> they got them all. Oh, coming down right now is Nico and Nokia, accompanied, of course, by Chaz Segner there in his uh, wonderful cowboy outfit, uh, his Dallas uh, with, his, with his new ranch. Or is it Mo in Montana? I thought it was, no, 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 CR's in Montana. <laughs> Chaz is in Texas. Boy, they got ranches all over the place for these, uh, these fellows. Uh, but right now, let's have a look at what happened in the Extreme Rules match with Nico Inoki. Uh, performed a packet suplex on, uh, no, sorry, a packet suplex pin on Vic Volger. And he was able to pull it off. Got the win out of that. Let's have a look. Nick, no, Nick, Nico, Nick, Nick at night. Nico kicks out. It was Nick and Vic and Dick and Prick. I don't know. <laughs> a lot of ick sounds. <laughs> I know, that's what the crowd mostly makes whenever I'm talking, just ick. And now, that was, that was a suplex pin, there's one, there's two, there's three, there's three, they go with a sneaky pin there, uh, instead of a bridge move. That's him, ladies and gentlemen, that is Vic Volger, and, I was, <laughs> well, it is Vic Volger. <laughs> that wasn't wrong, but I just kind of highlighted the wrong person, <laughs> Nico Inoki. <laughs> anyway, uh, coming down right now, his challenger is the gold father, the other challenger. There's really no champion on this just yet. But the uh, gold father who we saw in the world championship match, he went up against Katungi, and goddamn if he didn't give, a, give it his all. Uh, he performed the Greek on a leash to Katungi. But Katungi, at the very last split second, the shoulder came up and robbed Goldfather of the of the victory there. And that is hence how actually Katungi got that belt and will be defending at Halloween Hella Blue. But as far as Goldfather, let's have a look at that. And now gets him. Oh, I'm taking the Goldfather up. He got him. He got him with that, that, that Greek on a leash. And now Leonard Burke taking forever to get down. There's one. There's two. And oh, just a shoulder up there. And on, on the third, coming to the third count for Katungi. That's him, ladies and gentlemen. That's the gold father. That outfit gets uglier every week. Does he wash it? I hope he washes it. <laughs> Maybe it might take the dullness uh, or it might take uh, the shine out of it a little bit, but God, it, sm it smells much better afterwards. And here we go. And there's the bell. And coming down. Oh, it's going to be the gold father starting things off with a whirly bird uh, suplex there. Sends, sends, uh, sends Nico going. Now, Goldfather, he's been around a long time. I, I, I don't want to say he's ready for retirement. But, oh, picked up with a big military slam here. I don't know what uh, what Nico knows about the military, but God damn, he got that move off. Uh, but uh, they're talking about the Goldfather. He is, uh, has been around for a long, very long time, around since the beginning uh, as the Godfather. And uh, he's just, I don't know if he's ready for retirement, but I think he's, he doesn't want to go out, uh, especially in, in a tournament like this. That would be just humiliating. And Nico, of course, being a, a fairly newcomer, uh, wants to stick around as well. So, oh, right there's a, a big suplex spy. Uh, that was a German suplex. <laughs> he's got German, he's got military, he's got all kinds of things going on here. You know, he's lived in the jungle, yet he seems to know, know what's going on. But now, oh, Goldfather, Goldfather grabbing him. Got him up way high. Oh, big suplex coming down right, right on the back here. Uh, legs, were, legs were up and akimbo. Akimbo? Uh, legs were uh, spread eagle. <laughs> no, but not bald eagle, spread eagle. We're talking about the other guy. Uh, we're, we've moved on. Can you move on with me? Join me. It's, it's fun over here. Picked up by Goldfather. Goldfather not taking him over the shoulders. And what's he got for him? Oh, he's going to drop on you. <laughs> I didn't get to do that for a while. But now Chaz, Chaz saying, come on, Goldfather. It's, it's, uh, we're going to go out for a beer later. And uh, actually, that's just enough time. Oh, wow. What a what a suplex that was. It come crashing down on his back. And now kicks him in the ass. <laughs> kicks him in that big old ass. And now in the punch. And uh, up close and personal there. Punching away. And now Nico picks up. Goldfather slams him down. Big slam. Oh, he's going for a pin there. Grabs the leg. There's one. Oh, Goldfather. Goldfather too experienced to let something like that happen. And now stomps on the Goldfather. Goldfather getting rolled over. Oh, gosh. A swift kick right to the tailbone. Or to the, uh, well, the, down to the lower lower back muscle. Uh, lower back area there. And now pop, 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 pop. We got the popcorn going on here. Somebody get, somebody get the vendor. Get some butter. Get some salt. <laughs> he can use that fake butter. I don't care. I love that stuff. The fake butter is better than the real butter. Are you kidding me? <laughs> and now oh, picked up by Nico. 
And Nico's going to drop him. Oh, he's going to... <laughs> one for you, one for you. Everybody, everybody got a boy <laughs> yeah, Some of us can't get boy anymore. But Oh, oh God, a wrist breaker there. Moving on from that. <laughs> wrist breaker. And now he's just following step for step right after the goal father with a kick to the back. And now a stomp to the arm. And Nico showing off, saying, come on, you can, you can root for this old man if you want, but he's out. He's, go he's going away. And now what's this going to be? Oh, oh twisting the arm here. It's going to be that. That's going to be that. Oh, God, that, 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 that sternum popper, as I like to call it. A lot of popping going on here. Cherries are popping, too. There's some virgins in here. Yeah. Go to the hotel afterwards. Yeah. Yeah, they're, not, they're not underage. There's some, there's, there's some virgins that are over 17. <laughs> yeah, right. Uh, yeah, anyway, oh, there's a pin. There's one. There's two. And, oh, trying, to very, trying for a very stylish pin was, uh, was Nico, but the golf father kicking out. He's not having any of that. And now, oh, God, another shot to the back with the, with the foot. The boot. He doesn't have a boot. He has a foot. Just kicks him right there. A barefoot. Though. Oh, now going for the, the dragon sleeper. I <laughs> got it. And now I'm proud of myself. Right now. Oh, I thought he was going to might submit, but no. He, he puts out. He, he, he puts out. He can handle. Oh, there goes a Greek on a leash there. He can handle the damage and he can dish it out too. Now the pin. There's one. There's two. Oh, uh, and Goldfather getting thrown off by Nico. Oh, sorry. A little burp that has that do a little Taco Bell earlier, and it's uh, it's catching up with me. <laughs> but after a little uh, the chest pounding there, and now oh, he's going to pick up pick up Nico with a pickup power bomb, way high. Oh, look at the strength as he's smashing them down. And now Nico getting picked up. Oh, picked up once again. And Nico's Nico's a little drowsy. Oh, this could be there's going to be problems here. Another, another pick. Oh my God. Oh, what a, what a reversal. <laughs> a lot of syllables in that. I tripped over it. A reversal move by Nico, flipping it around and just slamming his Goldfather down. And now a big knee coming across the, the head again. And another stylish pin. There's one. There's two. And that Goldfather says, "Get off me! You ain't pinning me with that crap. You have to do better than that." And now going up high. Oh, we could have a coconut buster. We could have uh, we could have something on the head. A Fiji flop could be either. He's waiting for him though. And now he's up. It's going to be, oh, the, oh, the coconut buster comes crashing down. And the gold father, I, I would expect blood to be drawn from there with the pin. There's one. There's two. Oh, my God, that was three. That was so close to three. It doesn't get any closer than that. The gold father hanging tight. I, I don't know if Jimmy Wong had just got a, with a slow third count there. He's known for that. And Chaz is outside. Chaz is cursing him, cursing him up and down. And now, oh, going over the shoulders again of, of, of Fiji. And now with a big slam on Goldfather. Slamming that head down. Bouncing another round. A do wop da 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 <laughs> I, don't know. I thought that we were doing a song. I don't know. But now back up again. Uh, back up <laughs> lurking. Lurking in the trees. Lurking like a gargoyle. And waiting for, waiting for Goldfather to get up. And he does. And what's it going to be? Oh, God, a single, a single elbow coming down. A single axe handle, I guess. I don't know. <laughs> there's, a pin, there's one. There's two. And no, kicking out. And uh, Jimmy signaling two before he's, even, before he's even kicked out. What is this? What is Jimmy Fung doing? Trying to get himself even more trouble? Guess what? You can't get in more trouble. We're, we're firing your ass. It, 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 I don't care if I have to, if I have to go uh, to, to Washington, D.C. or whatever. No, I ain't going down there. Not with that asshole. No. All right, well, no, we'll find some someplace to go. Uh, someplace political. And now stomp. <laughs> Florida. <laughs> yeah, they're political. They just don't know how to count. Okay, that, that joke's about at, at three years, four, four, nine, nine years old. I don't know. Oh, big toe. Suplex now on Nico. I, I don't finish my thoughts in case you hadn't noticed that. <laughs> I'll get on to thought and he'll make a move and then I'll jump on to something else. I'm quick like that. I'm quick like that. I did, no, that was cool like that. Oh, now what's that? Picking him up and just grabbing him. Oh, now he's going to roll him over and a sharpshooter here. Oh, this could be trouble. And now. He, he got it. Look at the pain. He's shaking his head like a madman, saying, no, I don't give up. No, I refuse to give up. And finally working his way up. And oh, there he finally kicks out of it. Oh, what a move that was by the Goldfather. The old dog, new tricks. There's some definitely new tricks right there with a the clothesline. But oh, that's not a new trick. That's an old one. <laughs> it's an oldie bit of goodie. And stomps. And now goes for a pin here. Nico, one. There's two. There's three. There's three. The Goldfather had wear, wore him down, and all it took was a little touch at the end to win. Goldfather moves on, and Nico, Nico going, uh-oh. Oh, uh, this could be trouble in Goldfather, and yes, we've seen this before, but we haven't seen it from, from Nico. Come on, Nico, don't do it. Oh, God, he punches. You know what? Good. <laughs> I saw it. Yeah, exactly. You know what, Nico? You you earned that. You you earned the ability to punch that son of a bitch in the head. I applaud you for it. If, if it, yeah, I'll even cover for you, cover you if Pedro finds you. At least up to like, you know, twenty dollars or something like that. But anyway, we're gonna move on here. That's that match. Nico moves on in the tournament, which is not a good thing. But you are watching the Anal Network here, and uh, they, we're, there's something about a condom. And there's the, are we coming back? We're coming back. So come back.
Welcome back, ladies and gentlemen, to the Lindane Center here in Baltimore, Maryland. Uh, continuing our tour of the uh, of the north northeast. Yes, pretty much in the northeast. Uh, we might be uh, we're going well, actually, yeah, northeast also. New York City. Got to mention it. Halloween, hella blue. Halloween night, ten o'clock p.m. Eastern time. Of course, be there. <laughs> if you're not there, you're going you're going to regret it because we're going to send uh, we're going to send uh, the spooch to your house to redecorate. <laughs> Oh, I didn't say it right. Spoo! Ah, too late. <laughs> Coming down right now is the, uh, the former women's champion. She's been a women's champion several times. Probably one of the first ladies here in the HWA. None, none other Katie... None other... None other, geez, none other than Katie Bang. I got it. Uh, accompanied by, of course, Kelly Boom. And uh, we saw her in the KO match. She gives the dynamite DDT to Masato. I could have sworn that would have knocked her out, but it did not. That, that tough head of Masato kept her going to win that match where Katie lost. But uh, regardless, let's have a look at it. And Katie up again. Good Lord. Oh, guys, a fly in action here. She is a high flyer, folks. Learned a lot from uh, El Loco, some of his moves. And now, huffing and puffing, it's going to be the dynamite DDT. And she got her. Is she out? No, she is not. She's not. The referee hasn't signaled yet. That's Katie Bang, ladies and gentlemen. A little smoking hot pistol she is. A firecracker. <laughs> but uh, coming down is, is another woman who has uh, definitely proved, who proved her way. To, she, she, uh, she's good. <laughs> uh, can I hear that again? Can we replay that? You gotta, you're got you recording on it. Oh, I gotta wait till the show airs to do it. <laughs> I want to hear what the hell I just said. She's worth her weight in gold. How's that? That's, that's probably something about what I was going for. Or platinum, as the case might be. Of course, you see there, the Women's Championship belt. Nothing, none of pure platinum right on there. It's a little bendy, but uh, it's, uh, it's it's expensive. Very, very expensive. More, much more expensive than we can afford. I think it's still on uh, on credit. Uh, exactly how much of that we paid. We paid off like 2% of that. Okay, well, anyway. Let's go ahead and have a look at the Women's Championship, where she earned that by giving the Grave Digger to Roadblock Rachel for that win. Let's have a look. Now up again. Oh, going to stance again. Oh, another one could do it. Another Grave Digger, I think, would do it to her. After she's kicking out, not taking her time, and it's going to be, she's got her again, and here it comes. <laughs> that's, that's my sound. Oh, another, oh, another pin. I don't know if she's getting up this time, though. There's one. There's two. There's three. BT Goth with the victory, your new women's champion. That's BT Goth, ladies and gentlemen, and you're listening to Stuttering John. <laughs> I really want to hear that again. I want to stop the tape so we can go back, but it's live. We can't. It's kind of live, uh, so we can't do that. But there it is, the, the wonderful belt, the, the prize of prizes for the women's division here in the HWA. And Katie, ready to go. BT, pumped up. Oh, so bring it. <laughs> she's, she's very confident. And there's the bell. <clears throat> now locking up in between, and we're going back. Oh, some, some more wrestling maneuvers here. Katie back in a little, they're both pretty small, but I think uh, BT is definitely the smaller of the two. And now as she shoves him away. Nice clean break there. A lot of, a lot of sportsmanship tonight, for the most part. But now working the arm. And she's going to have those uh, loops it around the other way and tries to they really bend her shoulder on a, on a move there. But a reversal. Oh, and a takedown. That's a point. Is that a point or a half point? <laughs> There's no points in PHWA. Get the fuck out of here. And now, oh, getting grabbed and going. Kind of shoving uh, the Jimmy Fong out of the way. But now, yeah, bouncing off the turnbuck and now picked up. And, oh, my God. Slammed down like she's a rag doll uh, by little BT. And picked up. BT now. Oh, uh, locking up again. And shoving her back. The stronger one, uh, the Katie here, apparently. And we're, we're locked up again. And then the ref says, come on, break it up, chicks. You got you to gotta wrestle here. It's a, it's a wrestling match, not, not a dance. Oh, I'd like to see them dance. <laughs> like a last, last dance with Mary Jane dance. <laughs> well, no, one of them doesn't have to be dead. That's sick. Eh, it's not that sick. Anyway, oh, anyway, <laughs> and thrown into the corner. I didn't say that. <laughs> Charges right, right, in the, right in the gut there. And now a kick to the gut. And Joe, go cheering her on as she stomps the head. And down goes Katie. As long as they're still warm. Is it? we got to get off the topic here. <laughs> with, an with the elbow drop. And Katie bouncing right back up after that. <laughs> and now grabbing her. She's trying to do a bear hug, but it's not working too well. I don't think she has the uh, strength for a bear hug on Katie. But Katie put, but sends her to the corner. And now charging in. Oh, just a body. Just a, a vertical splash. A vertical splash. No, not, not the yellow splash. The vertical splash. What's that too? <laughs> Maybe. Uh, do, do some of them have bladder problems? Oh, getting picked up here. 
And now, let's see. Oh, she's taking her over to the turnbuckle and just throws her down the turnbuckles. Oh, those, uh, they, they got cushions on Cushion, that's the word I was trying to think of. They got cushions on them, but they're still very, very tight and very hard. Oh. <laughs> Sorry, saying those words, looking at the ladies, that, that triggered something in me. Oh, now a kick to the head, I think. <laughs> I was looking away. I was looking at you guys. Just stop distracting me. Turn our turn knots here. And now coming around, oh, coming around and just kind of grazing her down the side. But, oh, there's a big chap slap. And to Katie, and Katie goes down. Hmm. Katie going down. Hmm. Oh, now you're working the arm. <laughs> well, you've already got me in the in that gear, okay? It's like, <laughs> I can't just, like, drop shift out of it. And now we'll go, going for a quick pin here. There's one. Oh, it only barely gets the one on Katie. And BT now scoping her out. And oh, tries to drive the knee into the back, but Katie getting out of the way just in time. Katie now. Oh, Katie with a spin around forearm right to, right to BT and takes her down. Picking her up, picking her back up again. And what's it going to be this time? Oh, another forearm, but not quite as effective that time. And now here comes. Whoa, that's a hurricanrana right there on her head. And now Katie going up for some high flying action here. Hmm. BT was up. Oh, BT was up, but she didn't say uh, she didn't get, get her groove in, in time because they got the dynamite DDT. And now going up again, more high flying action as the BT rolls over, and here it comes. Oh, it's the Rockets right there. She nailed her. Oh, that could be it. That's a twofer. And here it comes. There's one. There's two. And now once again, Jimmy signaling early. So that signaling early and that not letting BT get there. Not letting. Uh, well, I guess it would be Aaron, the uh, the West Coast Alliance, getting a pin there. But now another pin. There's one, and kicks out that uh, after one that time. Now, I'm sure that the that the girls or that BT would have kicked out of that also, you know, before the three. But Jimmy Fong is just they're playing so loose with the rules nut right now. We're gonna put him, put him, <laughs> and we're gonna put him on a boat and send him back to where he came from. That didn't sound racist, no, not at all. <laughs> oh God, <laughs> am I gonna lose my job now? Oh no, a head, a shoulder, or elbow, to the head, and that both are up again. Now, what's it going to be? Oh, she's grabbing her. Oh, she got... Oh, I thought she was going... There was a kind of a roll-up suplex there, uh, but not the pin. I thought she was going for that grave digger. That, once that grave digger gets on you, it, if it's not once, it's twice, and it's over. But now, uh, talking to... Uh, she's, uh, she's hitting on her. Is she hitting her trying to get a, a date with her? I said, I'm not a lesbian. Oh, I might be. I don't know. <laughs> Do we have to use labels right after the, right after the third, their head taking down the turnbuckles? <laughs> I'm just talking. <laughs> Can I just talk? Can we talk? No, I'm not Joan Rivers. Get out of here. She, She's not even alive. She's been dead for like 30 years. And now going up once again. Oh, God. That's going to be another rocket straight glare. And she got it. Good luck. She almost flew. And now a pin. One. That could be it. There's two. And once again, he's signaling two. She didn't even kick that. That was a pin. I'm sorry, folks, but that was a pin right now. Katie going up again. And it's going to be. Oh, my God. That's it. It's the crutch larynx the, the, the flop there. And now going up once again. Good Lord. Katie's on fire right now. And she's got the with the heaving breasts and breaths. This could be another dynamite DDT. No, slapped out of the air. Katie. Uh, sorry, uh, BT. With a, with a shot here. Uh, it's a, a gift by, by Jimmy Fong. And now working the arm. Pulling that, trying to pull that arm out of the socket with the head. Grabbing the, the foot in the head. Booting the head in the boot in the pit. <laughs> the head pit. Head pit? Pit head. I love it. Pit head. I kind of like that. Oh, now in a, in a stance here. Oh, she's got her. This could be it. It's going to be. Yes, another grave digger. <laughs> oh, my God. Oh, almost put her head through the mat. And now grabbing her with a pin. There's one. There's two. There's three. BT Goth will be defending at Halloween Hella Blue. But I'm not so sure I agree with the officiating. All right. I, 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 I like all the women. I, I, I think they're great. They're, they're talented. Uh, they're, they're professionals. But to have, a, to have a, a, a win be stolen from you like that, there's the, I mean, Katie Bang was just firing moves left and right at BT Goth. And we're going to have to talk about this once again on the, uh, on the podcast, which you can join us there. Of course, anchor.fm slash HWA rules. And uh, pen there. That's rules spelled with an S, not with a Z, like keys. Uh, and a pen. And now, that's why people have been, people have been going to, to HW Rules with a Z. No wonder. And now, a pin. There's one. There's two. And see, that was a pin. That was the notorious pin. That, 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 that's, the, uh, that's the Baltimore screw job, you might want to call that. And then this. She goes home, goes for that uh, dynamite DDT and gets slapped out of the air. And just opportunity uh, given to, to BT got to defend that title. If I was Aaron, I'd be uh, I'd be calling, I'd be getting the liberal lawyer back here. So I know you're on vacation. I know you're enjoying your money, but you need to get back here. We're gonna sue this son of a bitch uh, into the dirt. So right there, see, uh, oh Joe, Joe looking down at see a bug crawling along the mat. It's like Joe, oh a bug. <laughs> my my girl just won, but oh a bug. <laughs> 
don't know. Anyway, this is the Anal Network reminding you to always wear a condom and come back for more. We got more HWA action for you. Come on back. Welcome back, ladies and gentlemen, to the Lindane Center here in Baltimore, Maryland, for our, what they, as uh, Sierra likes to call them, gimmick matches. I like to call them specialty matches. I'm not that, I'm not that cynical. Actually, I am, but uh, just not about that. Coming down right now is Fuzz Pigman, who we saw in another ma another type of match, a KO match. He gave the battering ram to Spooge, going for that liver shot, but it did not KO him, and he ended up losing that match. Hopefully, we'll see him in some regular action here pretty soon. But uh, go ahead and have a look at this for now. Now going back again. <coughs> and another one. This could do it, folks. If he, hits, if he hits him right on that liver, that could be it. And he does him again. But still no KO. And he even nailed him under the chair right there. That's him, ladies and gentlemen. That is Fuzz Pigman, one of the toughest guys here. Uh, he's, he's a battler. And uh, he's, uh, he has had some hard times lately. But uh, he'll we'll have to see what he pulls off tonight. Uh, I did look up to see if Crow was going to be at the at the HWA. Uh, the, uh, the, the little bit. At the, <laughs> it's also starts on the H. Halloween Hella Blue. I got it. Number three. Number three. Our third one. That's beautiful. And uh, the, he is not, gonna, in fact, going to be wrestling there. But uh, here's someone who... Is he going to be wrestling? I don't know. That, somebody print some shit out for me, will you? I'm, I'm dying over here. But anyway, it's Fritz Von Stone, and we saw him uh, quite a bit ago in the exhibition match. And Anna, ex, Anna, and 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 in an exhibition match. God, that's tough to say. You try saying that, motherfucker. <laughs> I'm talking about me stumbling. You try some shit. Yeah. All right. Anyway, anyway, let's go ahead and see what he did. He attacks the referee after his loss. The corporal punishment. I set that up. Let's have a look. No, we're not. Oh, he's going out. Oh, come on. Come on. We've seen this before. You know what's going to happen? Uh, Leonard Burke. Uh, God, it's another lawsuit. Another goddamn lawsuit. <laughs> Even new manager, same old shit. That's him, ladies and gentlemen. That is Fritz von Stone. That is me trying to talk and having these guys ridicule me. You know, that's, that's rude. That's just rude. You don't, you don't make fun of when somebody talks. Yeah, it's like Biden, you know, he stutters, you know, he know, you know he stutters. You don't, you don't get your, get your lackey to teach you, you know, don't keep talking over him so he stutters more. Bunch of fucking dickholes. And, oh, we got political again. God damn it. Anyway, let's, uh, let's have a look at the match. Oh, right there is a pancaking, uh, a reverse pancake by, by uh, Fritz von Stone. And now, Buzz. Buzz, but Fuzz must be off to another rough start here. <laughs> Things don't look so well, but uh, anyway, I, I kicked to the back. Just having it, uh, Fuzz taking his time getting up. What is he doing? I don't know. It was a little slow, and now getting backed into the corner, and it's going to be oh, interesting. Oh, what's, what's he doing? <laughs> He's like, oh, grinding the knee. <laughs> I couldn't tell from the angle. He was grinding his knee into the abdomen. I thought there was something sexual going on there. I can't show that. And now going to the corner, and now a clothesline, and I was getting stomped away. Fritz, Fritz is definitely on fire right now, and just going in and choking the pig. I mean, I mean the the the, the, the fuzz, the, the well, him, you know, you know what it is. <laughs> and now that went back the way, and fuzz. Fuzz, uh, Fuzz wondering, oh, when, when am I going to start winning things here? When am I going to snap two? And, uh, a big double axe right down to the flak jacket on the back. Good thing it's here because they hurt him more. And now they're just stomping him. It still feels it, though, obviously. And now with the popcorn coming in, pop, 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 pop. <laughs> Make sure teeth go pop, pop, pop. And he's popping away. He's popping his popper. Popping his popper. <laughs> Is that another euphemism for masturbation, I think? Uh, and now it's picked up. Oh, here it comes. This could be at the hands of Stone. This could be quick and taken down. But no, no blood. Uh, not this time. And now Fritz. Fritz going up. Fuzz is having a, a fucking hard time today. And Fuzz. Fuzz, he's a strategist, though. Uh, he knows. He might, bite, might be baiting him in, but he better start acting soon. Here comes. Ah, uh, double. Uh, I think he missed. <laughs> you know, okay. I, we understand that the stuff's choreographed, but at least make contact, please. <laughs> and Fuzz going over the top rope. Here comes Fritz after him. Oh, Jesus. And now <laughs> Fuzz getting picked up. And what's this going to be? A little grapple here. Grapple and tackle and gets shoved away. Oh, Fuzz, oh, fuzz grabbing him. Finally start, trying to do something. Gets, oh, gets, oh, takes his head off the apron. Good good, smart move for a first blood match, but no blood yet. Now picking Fritz back, back up. And now, oh, getting punched. Where's he, what, did he punch him in the balls or I think he blocked him? He might have blocked him. And now coming in with a, with a roundhouse, uh, roundhouse punch. Is there such thing? And now more punching away. Here they go. Uh, they're trying to break the skin. And now just grabbing him from behind and flopping him on down. And what's he doing? He's feeling off. He tried to, he tried to bone his head. He tried to rub his balls on his head. What is that? Come on, Fritz. A little, a little respect here. We don't want to have to go back to calling you Fritzy, for God's sake. And now Fuzz, he's, he's asking Fuzz to come over, but Fuzz, Fuzz probably too smart for that. Yeah, he's definitely out of reach there, Fritz. Uh, you're not even at the right angle. 
<laughs> now going in. Oh, I didn't ask the referee ever. If the referee bleeds, is the match over? And now coming with an elbow on, by, by Fuzz. And now Fuzz taking a shot from Fritz. That big elbow. And now just he's going down and choking him again. He's just he's just being good, uh, brutal, brutal, brood, 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 and he's going in. Oh, here comes. Here comes the rock and roll. He's got him up. Ooh, down he goes. Oh, that's not going to draw blood. But that'll definitely soften him up. And there's something to be said about the, you know, softening him up, getting the, getting the blood flowing. Oh, there's a sneaky move, though. Right there. Big, big old clothesline off the top rope. Hot shot, if you call it. And picked up once again. And now just coming in with a chop, but not, not doing much there. And coming in with an elbow, trying to break the skin. But still nothing. Now Fuzz. Fuzz taking, faking him with the turnbuckle. And he's coming in. Oh, simple crash along the sides of the head. Now going back. Oh, oh okay. Now he's going to be doing some softening himself here with the with the uh, the battering ram. And he's in a little different angle. They got to switch it up. And but he does make it and takes him down. And yes, fuzz. <laughs> Change my dopino. <laughs> little Dennis Leary for you. <laughs> and now oh, switching legs. When do they do that? This game sucks. Uh, anyway, uh, we're, we're working with it. And now, oh, caught right out of the air. Fritz Von Stone now picking him up, taking him over the shoulders. What's he got for him? And it's going to be, oh, it's an F5. It's not an F5 ringer because that's the other guy's move. But that's an F5 regardless. And coming down with the elbow, smashing the back of the head. Going to paralyze him with that. Going to knock him silly. Or killed him. And knocked him, knocked him silly. Silly. Yeah. We could have killed him. Killed him. Now, that doesn't have the same ring to it. And now stomping on the back of the arm. And a big guy, and now just a barrage of moves here. Elbows coming down by Fritz. And Fritz now going over. Oh, stomping the thigh. Trying to cause a Charlie horse there. That'll, that'll keep him from wrestling good. Well, <laughs> so gangless Graham Rhino picked up and slammed down on the hip. And <laughs> leg just sort of hanging there. Put the other leg up. Get him in stirrups. And now we're choking. More choke. I was choking here. Choking the Fritz. Choking the Fritz. <laughs> oh, that's a, that's a good one. You got to write that one down. <laughs> <laughs> That's definitely it. And not suplex now. <laughs> Go, get out of here, Mom. I'm choking the Fritz. <laughs> anyway, I'm grabbing Fritz, taking in the turn. Uh, Fuzz taking in the turn buckle. Fuzz, Fritz, it's all a bunch of Fs. So, so F it. And now going for another rock and roll here. Right, referee, get out of the way of the camera. Good Lord, the camera's close up here. And we saw that. What a perfect angle for that. Jesus, God. <laughs> you, you, you can see the impact of that. You, you can't really see it from far away. But the impact there, that was, that was writ large, as they say. As I say. Well, they say. They say it too. Who's they? Who the fuck am I talking about? I don't know. Now stomp on the back. And Fritz, fr Fuzz, fl 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 getting back up. And now, oh, Fuzz had kind of just woke him up with that shot. And now picked up. Oh, he's hanging. Oh, big hanging suplex there. It drops him down. I can see we're getting some camera angles here. And now, ugh, stone here. It's pumped up. Well, try not getting pumped up. Try just doing some stuff there, Fuzz. You, you need a win here, buddy. And now clothesline. And another clothesline on Fritz. And ducks under. And goes for the flying clothesline, and Fritz takes it. <laughs> Once again. <laughs> oh, my nose coming up with dirty little jokes. And now picked up here. Oh, it's going to be. It is the. Oh, the, 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 the no, not the dishonorable discharge. I'm a little confused here. That was the, 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 the punch to the head. Four punches to the head. It's been a long time since he's done it. I don't even know what it's called anymore. It's the. It's the uh, oh, God, he now tripped out. I'll think of it. It'll come to me like 20 minutes later. And. Fritz picking, picking Fuzz back up again. And now taking Fuzz. Oh, taking Fuzz to the corner there. And walked away. Oh, now a big kick. Oh, get, get, that'll, that'll get some blood flowing, but uh, still not, just not yet. Now picked up once again. Fuzz. Fuzz working. Oh, shoulder charge there on Fuzz. And uh, Fuzz, Fuzz taking a moment to celebrate there. A quick celebration. That's, that's usually better than long celebrations they have. Now a clothesline. Oh, a missed clothesline by Fuzz, and a flying clothesline by, by Fritz takes him down. And that move was called the Evidence Plant. <laughs> like I said, 20 minutes later, I'm on top of it, baby. And now, oh, going up high. Oh, big elbow, it misses. Fuzz gets out of the way just in time. Now Fuzz coming in with the elbow. Fuzz has an opportunity here. But no, we're going to trade punches for a while. <clears throat> now getting oh, locked up. Where's he taking him? Oh, point black into, the, into that side. And now go, going down with the nails. He, he pretends to, it hurts. <laughs> There's six layers of clothing plus a bulletproof vest there. I don't think he felt that very much. But we'll, we'll just go ahead and, and uh, suspend disbelief and now going off the ropes. 
Oh, they run into each other. <laughs> All right, that's as good as the announcing, I guess. <laughs> it's on par. And now, oh, there's a big punch to the head. And, oh, there's going to be more punches. Got some pugilist stuff here. Uh, fisticuffs. And now, oh, that's a better angle. Okay, see the knee going into the gut. <laughs> see, from the other side, it just looks like he was rubbing his cock against his nipples or something. I don't know what the hell was going on. And now, Fuzz getting taken to the corner again by Fritz. Oh, it's a long match. Come on, people, draw some blood. I'm running out of juice here. And now, once again, going in for the the, uh, the rolling, the, the rock and roll, and bah, down he goes again. And Fuzz. Fuzz having problems here. And a stomp misses, though. Fuzz is back up, and a clothesline takes him down into the corner again. And now, oh, stomp. And uh, stomping on the throat. Come on, ref. You got to break that up. He's not going to break up shit. He's getting fired tomorrow, hopefully. But uh, it's going off here. And now what's this going to be? Kind of going around, just figure out what he wants to do next. And Fuzz is just laying there. Fuzz now getting dragged out. And, oh, we got a choke move on him. Just yeah, choking away. Uh, Fritz. Fritz. Uh, <laughs> come on. They get, work on the head. The hand's of stone. That's how you know to do it. And now, once again, we're going, oh, going into another corner there. And, oh, God, comes right back with the elbow. Fuzz now. Fuzz with the clothesline. Fuzz uh, trying to trying to find, find his energy, and he found a little bit of it there. But now, oh, going up, here comes the evidence plant, as opposed to the battering ram, <laughs> which I remembered. But now that evidence plant works. That's the evidence plant, by the way. Uh, if you call 1-800-EVIDENCE-PLANT, <laughs> I make fun of myself. It's fine. And now grabbing the ears and throwing them, or grabbing the hair, or grabbing anything up, up there. It's just it throws it's going to hurt. And now Fuzz picked up once again. And what's this going to be? Oh, belly to belly slam. Good Lord, I'm kick the camera. <laughs> camera man, watch out. Those things are expensive. And now Fuzz backed in. Backing up here. Got another battering ram. This is going to be a close one. It's point blank range. Oh, my God. He fired out like a bullet. <laughs> like a bullet from one of his guns, I guess. <laughs> that made sense. <laughs> it wasn't very, <laughs> wasn't very insightful, but it made sense. Oh, no. Not another one. This time he got a little more distance. And he's going to hit him. He's going to. Here it comes. Oh, yeah, I got him again. Oh, my God. That'll knock him out just fine. But uh, I think he's just playing with him like, like a, a mouse. Playing with a cat. Playing with a mouse for like his dinner. Playing with his food. I don't know. I'm going to have a drink right now. I'm going to have a sip. Ah, refreshing. All right. This match has gone on a long time, folks. And now back once again. Another battering ram could be. He's like, got to get, get, get the angle. He got to turn there. Oh, got him, got him again. No, he didn't. Uh, Fritz, Fritz slipped out of it that time. Fred went to the well too many times. And now grabbing. And it's going, to, going into the corner. What's it going to be? Oh, the big boot comes up by Fuzz. And now, line up a big boot, another big boot right in the head. That, that'll open him up. And now, oh, stomping on the gut. Get, make him to force set you might say. And a kick to the back of the neck. Buzz Pigman, oh, going back once again. He says it didn't work that last time, but this one's going to work. Turn around, motherfucker. And he does, if he gets it. Oh, got him again. I can't believe somebody's not knocked out here. Even if they were knocked out, you'd still have to, like, go down and get a, get a knife to cut their head open, make him bleed. <laughs> Strange rules they have here for, for, for first blood match. And going up high. Buzz now. Buzz, the double axe handle would be a, a hell of a shot for him. He goes up, and oh, the double axe handle comes down, but still no blood. My God, and Fritz goes rolling out. Oh, my God. And now, oh, going up. Oh, going up way high. Oh, he, he hit something off of this. Could be it. And the double axe handle comes down, and Fuzz has won. Fuzz has won the match after, after a brutalization of each other. Oh, my God. That took a long time. <laughs> and now, oh, it's celebrating. Okay, the match was an hour and a half, they figure, so we're not going to show a replay. It's already taken too damn long. So he got the award there. Wait, something usually bad happens here. I don't know if something's bad. Where's Fritz? Where'd he go? I don't know. Just uh, All right, he's just celebrating. Okay, so I guess we were just... Uh, okay, yeah, I guess we were. We're cutting it short because the match took so long. Makes sense. Anyway, if you want things to make sense, come on back here. We're going to the anal network and the, the condom thing. And, you know, it's, uh, and we got another match. Yeah, let's, uh, let's go away. But, but come back. Yeah. Welcome back, ladies and gentlemen, to a bit of an off night here. We're coming. We're coming to the close of the season. I, that should be, uh, be expected here. But uh, we got uh, two more. We got two more regular shows after this. Yes, we do. And we have Halloween Hello Baloo number three, the third year uh, consecutive. It's been great. Some of the some great matches there. We might have to show some highlights from Halloween stuff before. But uh, right now we're going to see Gluteus Maximus coming down here for his title shot at the television title. Uh, Booger Dude did not do so well against Sabu, but his, that's his uh, partner. Well, partner in crime anyway, uh, partnered by Admiral Deuce Albino back there. 
and we saw Gluteus Maximus in a first blood match, like when we just saw. He was ambushed by Spooge with the cho choke slam. Uh, he did not get the victory in that match. I think he got bloodied up by who he was uh, go going up against. I'm not sure even who that was. I'm not sure of anything right now, folks. I am sure of this. Uh, it, here's a clip. Go watch it. And a big forearm throw there. Oh, okay. We got uh, we got an interruption here. Somebody's somebody's. Where is he? Is it Euro Trash? They fashion fashionably late again. Somebody, somebody's bothering him. So, someone someone with a warning. I don't know what's going on here, folks. It's gonna be it's somebody. Oh, there's somebody behind him. It is. Oh, that is him. It's Spooge. That Spooge picks him up and just crashing him down. Oh my God. That was the. Uh, uh, what, what was that called? The Cho Choke Slam. I think we saw. That's him, folks. That is Gluteus Maximus, shaking it down, ready for action here, ready for ready for his first title shot here in the HWA. And his opponent, he's a big one, folks. He's a big one. <laughs> is that on his, on his tights there? Is it a spider? I think somebody else's logo on his, on his tights. <laughs> you know, here at the HWA, we borrow clothing. It's, they kind of swap it out. The, as long as they wash it, please wash it. <laughs> please say they please say they watch it. The women don't have to watch it. I, that's kind of excited with the men though. That's just nasty. Anyway, uh, coming down here, the television title champion, and uh, we saw him go against the big bomb zo Bob Zombie. This was one of the biggest matches, just in size and in strength uh, between these two. But Sabu was able to pull it out. He he had some uh, some times there. You didn't think he was going to do it, but after he performed two Liberty Bombs in a row on Bob Zombie, it was written it was written in stone. Let's have a look at it. Is he going to give him two in a row? Sabu now with the kick. And I'm going to the other side. Bouncing off another Liberty Bomb coming up. He nails him. And Keys. Keys starting to get a little worried there. There's a pin. He's down. There's one. There's two. There's three. I can't believe it. Sabu against all odds has won this match. That's him, ladies and gentlemen. That is the great Sabu who has been holding that title for a long time. And if he has his way, he's going to be holding it at least through Halloween Hell Baloo and perhaps even further on. Uh, I do, do want to mention that after the Halloween Hell Baloo, we will be taking a break. We will return uh, December 18th, I believe it is. It's a, it's a Friday, whatever that is. And uh, I'm taking myself a nice vacation there. I might go and hang out. Uh, well, not with Obscene Gene. <laughs> That's just, I, that, I, that's terrible. I don't want to think about that. Uh, I'll go anywhere he's not. But uh, oh, there we start the match. <laughs> right out of the gate, Sabu comes in with a clothesline to take uh, the Iron Man off his feet. Iron Man. Gluteus, the, ma the maximum. The max, the maxi pad. <laughs> that's too many, too many pads. It's just slapped out of the air. Good Lord. Sabu showing no respect for this, uh, this younger wrestler. And now grabbing his head. What's this? Here? Just uh, scruff of the neck thing here. Good God almighty. Oh, backed against the ropes. And punches. Oh, just a punch. That's all it's going to be is a punch. All that set up, just a punch. That's a big punch. I will say that. I wouldn't want to be punched. One punch from him, and I think I'm, it's lights out. I'll talk to you in a week. But uh, <laughs> right there, working him over. And Sabu, boing, or clang, I should say, off the armor. Not real armor, by the way. <laughs> He's not that dumb. And now, oh, clang. I'll go ahead and do it. Clang. And now, kick to the clang. <laughs> or the chin. <laughs> his chin might be made of iron. I don't know. He's, he's from the Iron Age. <laughs> and now, now Sabu taking time to show off. I think he can do it. He's, uh, he's got pretty well control over this match right now. Kind of staring down at Chaz and say, oh, go for a pin. There's one. But no, that's going to be kicked out. Just a little too much time there, Sabu. You're not going to go for a pin after that. That's just silly. Silly. And now, oh, guys, that come with clothesline. Or not a clothesline. Uh, uh, DDT. 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 From Sabu. I need a drink again. Oh, that was a clothesline. <laughs> but it was going down the throat just as that happened. I was, it was like I was going halfway going, oh, right as I was drinking. Oh, my goodness. And now, oh, what's this going to be? Oh, it's going to be the C-section. Oh, he got him. He got him right in that, right in that abdomen. And look at the pain. He's thrashing around trying to get out of it. But it's like, oh, God, got him down. That's still. But he's not giving up. There's one. There's two. And, oh, he lets up. He, he, he wants a submission. He doesn't want to pin out of that, I guess. This is, I don't know, a pin of submission? It's a belt on the line, you dumbass. Anyway, uh, again, turn it over, stomps on the arm of Sabu. So far, Sabu having a, quite of a challenge here. He had a challenge with Bob Zombie, but he was able to pull it out. We'll have to see if he does it this time. Right now, clotheslines galore, and now grabbing the leg, and a kind of a, a karate sweep. A karate, a karate back in, uh, in Greece. Yeah, they're amazing. Those folks are amazing. And now, uh, stomping on the back. It was Roman, sorry. Yeah, well, the Romans, they created the, the aqueduct. They created roads and stuff like that. They're, they're rather ingenious. And now, oh, got punch clang <laughs> right, in the, right in the solar plexus of his uh, fake clangingness. 
And now oh, the Sabu picking him up and dropping, dropping him, trying to crack the egg. Was he gonna make it an omelet? The Sabu, <laughs> Sabu taking back over here. And we got the we got the gluteus fl 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 flailing around. And now picked up once again. Oh, it's gonna be. Oh, we haven't seen that in a while. It's the Empire Driver by Sabu. And picking him up again. He's not done with him. But no, a backdrop there before he can get a second move off. And that had to hurt. He's, he's probably a little bit dizzy, but he's fighting through it. Is is gluteus. And now Sabu. Oh, here it comes. Here comes another C-section. Oh, he got him. He got locked in. Now comes the other hand. And it, it, just Sabu flailing around trying to break out of it. Can't do it. He's going to down. He's going to oh, Here comes it for a pin again. There's one. There's two. And he's like, no, no, do not count, you, you Jimmy Fong, you you Chinese food. Uh, you, it's a dry cleaner place thing. I, <laughs> I'm usually quicker at this, aren't I? I hope I am. If I'm like this all the time, I need to hang it up. <laughs> but a clothesline. Three hours later. And Sabu now picking him up. <laughs> I'm glad I'm not doing this for the pay-per-view. That would be embarrassing to, to try to end on a six-week vacation off of that. And now just getting thrown over the ring. Don't worry, I think a little alcohol will be involved for the pay-per-view. But we'll have to see. And now coming out, Sabu. Sabu grabbing, grabbing the, uh, the, the the Roman gladiator himself. The glute. The glutes and the max. <laughs> and now oh, got him on the, oh, the apron. Oh, God. Elbow right to the nose. And Sabu, yeah, Chaz. Chaz cheering him on. Say, like, come on, bring that belt right back home, buddy. I'm picking him up. Almost said baby. <laughs> That'd be a little freaky. And now uh, picks him up. It's going to be another Empire Driver clang on his head. And even though he's not wearing a helmet, it went clang anyway. And now a pin. There's one. There's two. There's three! Sabu once again with the title, taking it to Halloween Hellabaloo. Oh, let's see it again. That was a hell of a comeback there by Sabu. He was in trouble for a while. And right there you see the shockwave coming up. Not sure what he... Oh, he's going to take time to, to show off there. la dee dee la dee da Are you going to go for a pin? Why are you showing this replay, guys? That is the stupidest replay I've ever seen. At the one count, yeah, great. That was worth it. Okay, we're going to see this from a different angle. Is it, no, it's the same angle. Thank you. Right there, grabbing that uh, that uh, midsection. That what are you kind of grabbing the, the muscle there, right? What, are, what do they call that muscle? The exterior or something? I don't know. Uh, there was one. There was two. But he, he lets up. It's, uh, that's not too smart. I, I don't know. If I'm going for the belt, I'm going for a pin. I don't care if it's a pin or a submission. He's just a submission guy, I guess. He <laughs> doesn't realize he can win off a pin. Stupid ass. And now, oh, there's an angle. Oh, look at that. The, look at the grip there, the claw, <laughs> you call it. Right in, that, right in that abdomen. And then gets flopped down. And, of course, watch this. Another kick out. One. Two. Out. <laughs> Slap there, Sabu, with a kick. <laughs> Can I hang it up? Can we be done here? Thank you. All right. <laughs> they heard me up in the booth. They said, okay, enough of these replays. <laughs> We've tortured them enough. That's what they do. They torture me. The whole, the, no respect at all in this, in this company. I'm the guy. I'm the founder. I'm the creator. I'm the, the goddamn main announcer. <laughs> Just no respect. Where's Rodney Dangerfield? He's, well, he's dead, too. Everybody's dead. Everybody I know is dead. What kind, of, what kind of life is that? Everybody I know is dead. I'm so old. Anyway, what's getting old is the this show right now. So we're going to sign off. But first, we're going to talk to you about next week. We have the Three Strikes Tournament. Four new wrestlers here trying to save their careers. It's going to be Bones McIntyre taking on Bufu the Clown first. And then you have Bandit versus Corporal Punishment after that. Uh, the Tag Team Championship to determine who's going, who's taking the belts to Hella Blue. It's going to be FU Incorporated versus the Trailer Park Posse. And then a brand new wrestler we get to see. We talked about him on the, on the podcast, uh, by the way. Anchor.fm slash HWA rule. Rules. <laughs> that was a burp right in the middle of that. <laughs> Sorry. That was grotesque. But it's a hell in a cell match. Gim versus Big Dick Gazinia. <laughs> Say it real fast, folks. You'll like it. Uh, after that, of course, the Inner Horseman Championship, the final belt match before the pay per view. It's going to be Bob Zombie trying his luck again. This time, the luck against the duck. It's going to be the rubber duck. And we'll have to see who wins that match to carry that belt on. So, with that, we're going to go ahead and sign off here. I'm going to go get some Tums or something like that. Some, some sort of anti belly yeah, gas X or something I think I need. But uh, <laughs> thanks for joining us. This is the HWA and the Anal Network reminding you to always wear a condom. And we'll be back here Friday next week for the final belts locking in for Halloween Hello Blue. Thank you and good night. <laughs>